Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Now when it comes to this episode, there's not that much smiling that can happen. It is very disappointing to share these sorts of news with you. However, you can't help but be inspired by this individual called Hussein. Let's go over the headline. Teenage hero Hussein Chowdhury killed protecting his mother from robbers. Let's read further. An 18 year old law student has been stabbed to death in East London whilst protecting his mother from thugs trying to steal designer jackets from their home run business. So immediately, yeah, looking at this, he's a young student, a teenager. They're known to be, you know, out and about just doing their own thing. They're hardly even home. <laughs> They're out partying and being free, as they say. But this individual, at such mashallah, tender, I would even say a risky age, you know, when a person's still trying to find themselves. Alhamdulillah, he's at home looking after his parents. Allahu Akbar. That's the first thing I got from that. Just, just his age. An educated individual, because he's a law student, and home run business. In COVID guys, it's not, oh, it's happened to them, oh, it's it's them, it's not going to be us. It could have been you, it could have been me. Yeah, a lot of us have opted for home businesses, especially during COVID. Yeah, where people are just about surviving. So Hussein Chowdhury suffered a wound to his neck outside his, his home in Walthamstow yesterday. He was pronounced dead at the scene and his mother and brother were also found with slash wounds to their hands. Their conditions are described by police as non-life-threatening. So Alhamdulillah, his family are fine. The Met said detectives have launched a murder investigation but so far there have been no arrests. Of course they haven't. Yeah, So many cuts with the police and just the way they're conducting themselves. They, they, they're coming hours late, doing all of their interview over the phone. There needs to be a significant change happening. Yeah, and when we hear of knife crimes, where we're always thinking, oh, it's somebody else. Oh, it's the... No, 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 no. Look, it's the same with the Charlie Hebdo thing. Yeah, a Charlie Hebdo cartoon came uh, about a week ago where the queen was depicted as putting her knee, like the police did on George Floyd, on the neck of Meghan Markle. Yeah, and people were outraged by this. But hang on a minute. The Muslims were outraged and have been outraged by these longer before but oh no no they're the muslims yeah they're the ones that are getting angry they're the ones that want to kill us all even though most of them live harmoniously with us but ignore that bit let's look at what the front page sun newspaper says look guys you gotta nip things in the bud just like allah tells us in the quran don't even go near zina fornication adultery you don't even go near it how you don't shake the hands of the opposite gender. You don't engage in unnecessary discourse because that leads to that act. So similarly over here guys, if you're not going to get involved in tackling knife crime and in your local communities and opt to get stuff done or educate even your children about this sort of stuff, then change won't happen. And eventually it will happen to you and you'll be running around like a headless chicken trying to get people to help you. So. When it comes to things like this, I'll put the launch good. Uh, you can support the family. The link will be in the description. But I'll also put other links, as people tell me, of other things that we can do. There might maybe petitions, getting the government to uh, bring a certain clause in or get certain discussions taking place. Because guys, this is getting ridiculous now, especially now with COVID and how desperate people are becoming. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone. So be careful when you guys go out. Uh, and ironically, he wasn't even going out. The fact that that guy, yeah, eighteen-year-old individual, yeah, Allahu Akbar, what a way to go! And this is something that blows my mind. And I and I pray for this that oh Allah, when I die, make me a sign for other people. So many people die, and people don't even know that they've died. This individual, his death is all over the papers. This individual's death is a means of our faith being increased, us being inspired. I mean, Allahu Akbar. An 18 year old, I just can't fathom it. I don't even think I can get it across on the camera. Yeah, it's mind, mind boggling. And I think it's inspiring. Those people that are watching like, nah, man's got to hustle. I have to hustle, I have to make money, I have to do this. What if that happened to your mom? How on earth are you going to live with yourself? That amount of guilt 
is an unhealthy amount. Your life is never going to be the same again. Yeah, you'll be mentally damaged. So the fact that this individual was educating himself, <laughs> that he's from East London, and the fact that he was at home looking after his parents and contributing to his business. Allahu Akbar. You know, may Allah have mercy on his family, have mercy on him, grant him the highest ranks in paradise and give us the ability to understand from situations like this. I'm going to leave it there guys. Other links will also be in the description. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.